God bless you, everybody, at the sound of my voice. You welcome to today's teaching. This is the season of Christmas. The message today is, He shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. Today we are going to learn about fivefold anointing of Christ. You don't want to miss it. Let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that you are giving unto us to preach your precious word to your precious people. The Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. We pray that the light of the gospel penetrate and permit homes, family, nations, government, and business. In the name of Jesus. And let the people of God say, Amen. You are welcome to today's teaching. His name shall be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. Let's take our test from the book of Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. God is with you. God is with me. Praise God. That is the meaning of Emmanuel. And Jesus came here with five-fold anointing. Why is that? Because we need to break through. Amen. Anointing is called the body remover, the yoke destroyer power of God. That's what we need. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. This is the meaning of anointing. Isaiah 10, 27 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off the shoulder and his yoke from off the neck. Listen to this. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Are you going through burden? Are you going through oppression? Depression is not your portion. That is why Jesus came. That is the purpose of Christmas, to remove those things, to destroy yokes. Amen. And he came with fivefold anointing. Number one, the sonship anointing. I want to teach on that today. Number two, the prophetic anointing. Number three, the kingly anointing. Number four, the priestly anointing. Number five, the adulthood anointing. That's why Jesus is what we need. Listen, Christianity is more than forgiveness of sin. Listen, forgiveness of sin is the entrance. Listen to me. Christianity is a new nature. It is a new nature. That is the purpose, to receive the nature of God, not just, of, not just forgiveness. Years have been taught forgiveness, forgiveness. This is the Christian is one and that is the life of God in us. He came to be with us, listening, and he took our burden, our sin away, give us the life of God. That is where the anointing resides. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1. Let's read verse 4. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4 says, Whereby are given unto us, listen to me, Exceedingly great and precious promises, 
that by this you might be partakers. Listen, partakers of divine nature. Not just forgiveness of sin, divine nature. God wants to use our vessel to reach out. It's divine nature. Having escaped the, escaped the corruption that is in this world through laws, you cannot escape the corruption of this world just by forgiving of sin. You need a new nature of God. We call it Zoe. The life of God. And that is the realm of function. That is the realm of function. We call that the sonship anointing. You don't just, you don't just receive religion. No. It's a relationship. This is where God himself becomes your father. You and God cannot fail. Listen, that is called the sonship anointing. I want to go to the world. I want you to write all this down. Write it down. Praise God. The, the answer to the church is the new nature of God. We need the revelation of the nature of God. And the answer to the problem of this world, the corruption, are you listening to me? Is the church. I will say you are the light of the world. John chapter 1, verse 12. I'm talking about the sonship anointed today. John 1, 12 says, But as many as receive him, not just forgiveness, not just religion, no, him, Jesus, the Emmanuel, who would Fivefold anointing. He said, He, he listen to me, as many as receive him, to then give he power, that is called right or access, to become the sons of God, to become the children of God. God, now, it's not just creator out there, it's your father. You cannot fail. It doesn't matter what the people call you. We're going to learn that in this teaching. In, in the fifth anointing, I'm going to be teaching about the adulthood anointing. So you know how to respond. You don't react. Hallelujah. It gave you right to become. Hallelujah. It gave us right to become the children of God. The Zoe of God resides in all. When you come to Christ, the sonship anointing, hallelujah, you touch God in the realm of your spirit. You have a brand new spirit. The question is why fivefold anointing? Why not just a twofold or threefold? Not five. You know why? Because of the element that is in us. Listen to the you are a spirit. I'm a spirit. God is a spirit. He created us in his own image. When Adam fell, he did not fall from heaven. No. He fell from the grace. He fell from the spirit into the flesh. That is what they need. Just forgiveness. 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 Because we are weak. Are you listening to me? When Jesus came, he restored us back. Listen, you don't need to develop theology to accommodate your weakness. No. You need the revelation of the anointing to function in spite of your weakness. You function. Listen to me. Listen to what the Bible says here. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Listen, most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities than the power 
of Christ, the power of the anointing. Oh, there's power in anointing. Jesus is the anointed one with fivefold anointing to remove body, to destroy you. Amen. That is it. You don't need to develop theology to accommodate your weakness. You need revelation of the anointing to function in spite of your weakness. And you cannot receive revelation of the anointing if you stay in the level of forgiveness. You need to know that when you come to the Lord, you have a new nature. You and I now, we are now children of God. With the joy of God in our being. So we are not limited to this realm. Human being. You are spirit. One. You possess a soul. Two. Inside your soul now, there's a will. That's a emotion. That's mind. Three things. Will, emotion, and mind in your soul. Then, you live in your body. Listen, we're going there, not today. So you have spirit, you possess a soul, so soul that's we, mind and emotion, then you live in the body. That is why Jesus came with five-fold anointing. So you can live a sound mind. You can put devil where devil belong under your feet. Are you hearing me? So to, you can join your faith with God. So you can join your relationship with your family. So you can join your relationship with your co-workers and, and your neighbor. You can join your future. Five-fold anointing. When you are crying, you, don't, you are not married to the endure it. No. There's a breakthrough anointing to enjoy your marriage. When you have children, there not be a body no more. There's a breakthrough anointing. You and your children enjoy each other. You enjoy your money. Oh, hallelujah. That's why Jesus came. He said, I come so you may have life, have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. Anything less than that is not Christianity. Jesus is set as a thief. He said, I to kill, to steal, and to destroy. John 10, 10. But my purpose is for you to have life, have it more abundantly. That is called sonship anointing. Praise the Lord. On this sonship anointing, I'm going to the book of Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. I'm reading verse 27 and 28. Oh, hallelujah. I'm here to enjoy my life in Christ. Say that. I'm here to enjoy my life in Christ. Amen. That life there is Zoe, not Suki. Suki is natural life. The, the world we send sees. But Sue is a life of faith. It's a life of God. That you can only tap by faith. In spite of your weakness. In spite of your surrounding. You begin to function. That is called sonship anointing. John. No. Galatians chapter 3. I will read it now. Galatians chapter 3, verse 27 and 28. Galatians 3, 27 and 28 say, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ are put on Christ. The word Christ there means the anointed one which is anointing. The body removed, the yoke destroyed. Power of God. Let's continue. Verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Come on now. There is neither bound nor free. They are in that male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So there's no division. So all the things that we, we call barrier in the natural life has become bridge to reach others. This is powerful. 
This is powerful. Praise God. To reach your dad. No boy like you do what God, hallelujah, brought you in Christ so you can function. But you have to start with sonship anointing. Oh, glory be to God. That is called born of the Spirit. When you are born of the Spirit, your gender is not a barrier no more. It becomes a bridge to reach your dad. Your nationality is not a barrier no more. You become a breed to reach your dad. Because you, you born of the spirit, the realm of God. Whoa, you have the gene of God in you. God can never be destroyed and you can never be destroyed. I'll be teaching on this. When we come in to the Kingsley anointing, you go to see how God sees you. But when you're born of the Spirit, the entering level, oh, hallelujah, that is an access for you to function. That's why Jesus came. His name is Emmanuel. He be with us in order to be in us. <laughs> Glory be to God. As I say, you are a spirit. You possess a soul, that soul says a will, that's a motion. Hallelujah. Your will, your emotion is in that. Not that alone, will and emotion and mind. Then both that will, emotion, mind dwell in the body. So the five elements. And Jesus came with fivefold anointing. So you can break through. Hallelujah. In your faith. In your family. Are you listening to me? In your job. In the world. When you begin to teach about Kingsley anointing, I will show you how to function in this world. How to function in the world of darkness. In the world of war. In the world of disease. God said you can function. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. So that's why it came. He don't just came to just dwell with us, no. But that's the beginning. But he came to dwell in us. <laughs> and that's called sonship anointing. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Colossians 1, 27 says, To whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. What is the mystery? Listen. This is the mystery. Mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. It's not in your mind. It's not in your emotion. It's in your spirit being when you are born again. That's called born of the spirit. John 3.3. 3. Christ in you. And this Christ in you is the hope of glory that people are looking for. It's in you now. And they let Christ out. God did not say you should live Christian life. You can't live Christian life. God said, let me live Christian life through you. Galatia 2.20 Paul am crucified. Yes, I live not I, but Christ lives in me. <laughs> Glory be to God. You, they will be afraid of you if you know what you carry. You are divinity carrier. Your body is the temple of Holy Spirit. When disease comes, you laugh. Because you will not receive that disease by yourself. You receive disease by the anointing in you. And this is called the sonship anointing. So the next I will teach is called prophetic anointing. And this is the area that you begin to form by the Spirit. I will teach that on words. You begin to form by the Spirit. And on Friday, I want to teach about the Kingsley anointing. This is why you function by the Spirit. Then I will teach about the priestly anointing. This is why you bring fruit. By the Spirit. Then I will teach by the adulthood anointing. That is why you bring fruit to fellowship. Oh. Listen. Born. Next one I will teach is called form. The next one, function. The next one, fruitfulness. The last one, 
fellowship. Hallelujah. You pray that devil cannot penetrate. You become immortal. You be, when I begin to teach on words that will tell you how to speak to your body. You speak to your body. As a woman in our church, woke up one day, the body could not walk. Say, body, life, function. Function right now. Hallelujah. I will be telling you how you can tap into the spirit realm through faith. Faith is the element we give to a lot of function. Jesus said, when I come back and I find faith on earth, you will answer yes when you got the revelation. Oh, the entering level is son, the sonship anointing. The next level is prophetic anointing. The next level is kingly anointing. The next level is priesthood anointing, followed by adulthood anointing. This is a preparation to the harvest that is coming. Oh, welcome to the school of revelation. It's eyes open. You're going to be well equipped. What is coming to this world? Disaster is coming to this world. But in Christ, you shine. You don't want to miss Wednesday. Hallelujah. Christianity is more than just forgiveness of sin. So it's the power of God in your new creature being. We don't have to develop theology to accommodate our weakness. You need the revelation of the anointing so you can function in spite of your weakness. Oh, glory be to God. Are you being tortured by the devil? It is time to turn the table around to torture the devil. I'm telling you. In case you are not born again, I want to pray for you. Say this one after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Be my Lord and my Savior. That's it. You are born again now. Now, Jesus paid the price for you to live a whole life. W-H-O-L-E. Bible says in him we are complete. Colossians 2.10. In him we are complete. I want to pray for you. For healing. For breakthrough in their finance. Hallelujah. Money will locate you. Things happen in a church that beyond comprehension. It is your turn. Let me pray with you and for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I join my faith with the faith of the man of God. I release my faith. Say that I release my faith to receive. Say that to receive my blessing, my blessing. So I can go out, I can be a blessing. Say amen. I burn every enemy. I burn the invitation of enemy. Not to come and torture you. No man. Receive your freedom now and flow in the spirit. I pray that the sonship anointing begin to flow in your life. The prophetic anointing begin to flow in your life. The case anointing begin to flow in your life. The precede anointing begin to flow. And the adulthood anointing begin to flow now. You shall know the truth, said Jesus. And the truth that you know will set you free in all area. Amen. God bless you. You don't want to miss Wednesday where I'm going to be going through the prophetic anointing. And you come to you don't want to miss that. I'm going to be telling you how you can be formed by the Spirit. Call your friend, tell your friend, send this one to your friend. And you listen to me. And listen, next Sunday, go to Bible Believing Church. Where the word of God is being is going to be taught. Who you are in Christ is going to be taught. If you are anywhere in Rhode Island, we are going to have Christmas Day service in this Saturday, the 25th of this month. At our church, God's Family Church, 1525 Broad Street, in Christ, in here in Rhode Island, U.S. The service time on this Saturday is 10.30 in the morning. 10.30 in the morning. Come and bring your friend. When we are going to study Jesus, the, the credential of Jesus. Wow! When Jesus came, mm -mm -mm -mm. come and you are going to be inspired. 10.30. And on Sunday, our service is 9.30 a.m. See you then. 
And don't forget, you meet me here on Wednesday. This next, next tomorrow, Wednesday. The same time, the same place. And remember that Jesus is love. Amen. Thank you.